Holly Wines. Hey guys. Hey. Hi, Sharv. How are you? Happy Friday. I'm doing all right. Uh, yeah, happy Friday to you. Um, are we in a different orientation here? I feel like I should be talking up to you all Brady Bunch style here. I know, I know. Yeah. I, you know, I like to change things up. It's, um, it's you know, speechy happy hour is completely unpredictable. <laughs> um, Way to throw off the audience. I like it. Exactly, exactly. So, um, we thought we were going to have uh, one of our Mount Gay ambassadors on tonight making a drink, and I guess we have to wait another month for that because they're, I don't know, they're busy partying down there in Barbados or, or Brooklyn, as would be the case. And, uh, I and am so, not going to throw Anyway, it's just you and me tonight, Sharb. Well, I'm not going to throw our sponsor under the bus. Um, this was all this guy's fault. Um, so oh, the truth um, comes out. I, well, I have, I have a sticky note on my computer that says, hey, call – you know, call Dominic and, and Dario to make sure they can attend. It's been sitting there. I've been watching it, but I never, I never actually did it. Um, well, so. you know, the good news is we can still have our Mount Gay drink. We have three guests on tonight. We have a lot of stuff to cover for anyone who's interested in learning a little something about team racing. So, um, so awesome. yeah, we, we've got plenty of things to fill that time. So, what are you drinking over there tonight, Charm? So, uh, I've, there in the uh, Maritime Republic of Eastport. I am. Uh, I'm, I'm having my uh, my regular uh, eclipse yeah. on the rocks. I mean, I I still haven't bought any more ginger beer, and yeah. um, hey, it's it's just fine on the rocks. So that's what we're doing. What about you? Yeah. Well, I'm um, I'm I'm mocktailing it tonight. I'm gonna admit it. I'm uh, I wasn't quite ready for a real glass of wine. So I had a, uh, I had a bit of a drive, and uh, so I'm gonna, I'm I'm having a little apple juice in this wine glass. Oh, very good. You could have lied. It looks like rum, um, except it's in a wine glass. Um, well, I did want to say one thing. Uh, obviously, thank you to Mount Gay Rum for sponsoring this episode. But we are going to be changing things, and again, keeping it. <laughs> Keeping everybody guessing, um, and I think it's appropriate to, for us to have the the Mount Gay ambassadors um, when we do switch things up for our next not happy hour. What is it? Spin sheet summer laundry night. Spin sheet summer laundry night. Now, folks, how cool is that? Well, no. it's there really have to be a couple of sailors in the crowd who are looking at that picture thinking, hey, wait, I've had a drink in that laundromat before, yeah. and there's a good chance you have because it's the Maryland Avenue laundromat across from Gowie Bay Pub. Yep. And uh, it's the sailor's choice in Annapolis. And uh, and thank you, Annie, over at uh, Maryland Avenue Laundromat for being okay with me stealing that picture right off your Facebook page. Yes. Um, but, um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do for the summer month for, for June, July, August only. We're Instead of having Spin Sheet Happy Hour on a Friday night where you guys might actually be on a boat or have a social life, we're going to do it on Monday nights at 7 o'clock. And uh, we're going to do it once a month. And the schedule will be up. Uh, well, it will be in our in our June issue of Spin Sheet, which is coming out. It will also be on the calendar at spinsheet.com. But we already know the dates. It's going to be June 7th, um, July 12th, which is the Monday after the 4th of July, uh, two Mondays after the 4th of July, and August 2nd. Yep. And then we're going to hit Labor Day, and we're going to go back to Friday programming. So there you have it. Well, it makes sense, right? And yeah, by the way, sure you and I get our Friday nights back. Yeah. So, Sharp, you ready to learn a little something about team racing? We've got some cool folks on tonight from Severn Sailing Association in Eastport. We have Ian Berman and Travis. Travis, his last name is escaping me right now. And um, Chloe Constance from the Olivia Constance Foundation. And they're going to talk about this really cool regatta that they've been running for, well, uh, eight years, I believe. They're at the eighth run running of it this year and how, um, how, it's been a, how and why it's been a success. And I don't know that much about team racing, so I'm looking forward to learning more tonight. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go in the back room and uh, bring our guests on. All right. We'll see you later, Sharp. Okay. There we go. Travis Carlisle, I'm sorry. I spaced on your last name there for a moment. So Ian, Chloe, Travis, welcome to Spin Sheet Happy Hour. You guys are all first-time guests. What an honor. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So uh, so what's everybody drinking tonight? 
I'm having a little rum here. I gotta put on my hat to support, yeah. <laughs> but I have a margarita, a spicy oh, well cup, done. A margarita. That's okay. It yeah. goes well with the hat. That's the right hat to wear for sure. How about you, Ian? What are you drinking over there? I've got some rum and uh, ginger beer hidden behind this metallic cup here. <laughs> All right. So have you guys been practicing clinking toward the center as we practice before the show? Yep, trying. Now we're really going to throw you off because Sharp will mess up our squares, and then you're going to yeah. realize you have to go to the other side it's by the end of the show. Left. So cheers, anyway. <laughs> cheers. Thank you for, for being our guest on the Spin Sheet Happy Hour. Thank you to everyone in our audience tonight. Um, just so you guys know, you can put a question in the comments at any time, and uh, we'll either address it as they pop up, or we'll address them when we get there in in our um, in our program. So, um, so anyway, without further ado, let's just let's jump into our questions here. Um, I'm gonna. Um, I think we'll just go clockwise here. We're gonna start with Ian, um, and we we all of our guests here on Spin Sheet Happy Hour. I like to start at the very beginning, and I really like to know a little bit about your sailing background and what connects you to the Olivia Constance Team Race Invitational, which is the team racing regatta that we're talking about tonight. So, Ian, if you wouldn't mind starting, we know yeah. you have quite a sailing resume. You could, you know, put it into a, a happy hour sized. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's more of a watching sailing resume. I don't actually get in boats very often, but um, <laughs> I, I grew up sailing in Annapolis. I did used to sail at one point in time. Uh, I started sailing the Cape St. Clair Junior Sailing Program and moved over to SSA. Um, and uh, went on to sail in high school and college. Uh, after college for a little while, I was the junior program director at SSA. And uh, for the past 13 years, I've been coaching the sailing team at the Naval Academy. All right. One of the coolest jobs in Annapolis. I mean, yeah, I have one of the coolest bad. jobs not in Annapolis. <laughs> Naval Academy sailing coach. That's a, I'm, I think that might be a step ahead of me in the cool factor. So. <laughs> Great. And your connection to this regatta? So um, I, I kind of helped, uh, a group of us helped organize it early on. Um, from from a concept and and at first my job has been was to kind of come up with the racing format uh, and and to, and to make to manage the the sailing aspect of it. So I for years I was the principal race officer. I, I'm not unfortunately not available to do that this year, um, but I hope to get involved again in years mm -hmm. to come. That's what well, sometimes it's time to pass the baton, right? Yep. So great. So Travis, why don't you tell us a little bit about your sailing background and uh, and your connection to the regatta this year, which we know is a biggie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I started sailing a little later than a lot of people uh, on this call. I started when I was a ninth grade freshman in high school, uh, sailing at Petapog Yacht Club up in Essex, Connecticut. Uh, quickly took on to the racing aspect of sailing. Uh, sorry, my dog here is trying to get in the camera. She wants to be famous. Okay, we um, like dogs on the show. Bring them on. <laughs> Um, yeah, and uh, quickly grew a uh, passion to race, a uh, very competitive person, so sailed uh, competitively for the high school team that I was on, uh, then went to college at ODU where I met Chloe, um, and that was kind of my connection to the this team race. Um, after school, went down to the Caribbean for a little, wet, little bit and did some racing down there, and then got this job here in Annapolis at Severn Sailing Association as the program director, and... Uh, yeah, I've been kind of connected to the team race since then. So three years, this will be my fourth year uh, helping run the event. So really yeah, excited. Yeah, I, I'm stuck just a little bit on Caribbean. Can you just expand <laughs> a little on what happened down there? That uh, yeah, sounds awesome. So, um, I got an opportunity to go sail on Wild Horses, a 76-foot uh, modern classic. And I got to sail the uh, St. Barts Regatta, Antigua Classics, um, all those big mega yacht events. Uh, as a bowman. So that was a lot of fun. Um, it was enjoyable, but I spent way too much time away from home. So decided to come back and just deal with the, you know, get to come home every single night kind of deals instead of being on the water every single day through yeah. Christmas, New Year's, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So. Well, good. We're happy to have you back. Thank you. And Thanks. welcome to the program. And so, Chloe, why don't you tell us about your sailing background and your connection to this regatta, which is so personal. So, yes, sure. So, yes, I'm Chloe Constance. So I'm a director, um, founder, obviously, of the Olivia Constance Foundation, a fellow sailor. I grew up in Annapolis. I always juggled sailing, playing other sports. Um, but, you know, sailing took me to college where I went to ODU 
Old Dominion University, did collegiate sailing, loved it. It was very rewarding um, for me and very healing for me during my college years, um, you know, and sailing just in Annapolis and just getting to do that in memory of my sister was just, you, ca you can't compare, you know, that, that gratification, that, uh, that satisfaction and doing that for a family member. Um, mm -hmm. So that was really cool. And yeah, no Travis from college. And I grew up doing um, junior sailing at SSA. So very tight knit within Annapolis and within the club. Um, and, you know, the, the regatta started really through one of Olivia's friends. One of Olivia's friends came to us wanting to do something in her name, especially, especially a regatta. And, um, you know, Olivia's mantra was really to do anything fun and fun, free spirited. So team racing is really that equivalent. Um, mm -hmm. So then we came up with a team racing format, something a little different. Um, and at the end of the day, it's a really fun regatta. So mm -hmm. that's my role and my connection. Yeah. And your um, um, did it, am I correct that this is the eighth year that this regatta yeah. is going to be run? Yeah. Yeah, it's, okay. we started it in 2013. Okay, very mm -hmm. good then. So, um, uh, Ian, I'm going to ask you this question first. And Travis, if ever, you know, when Ian's done, if you want to tack on something to what he said, this is a conversation more than a, you know, an interview here. So, um, but I, I would like to assume that some of the people in our audience are new to team racing, or they're obviously curious about team racing, or they wouldn't be bothering to uh, tune into our program tonight. So um, what is it? Okay. <laughs> or do you mind just explaining briefly what team racing is? So team racing is sailboat racing, um, where there are two teams, and each team has more than one boat in a race. 